Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I want to share with you this adorable candy box by Lawn Fawn. This is a cute little die, and I will be using this today along with, you want to use some strong adhesive. I'm using Angel Craft in the one quarter inch. It's a double side adhesive, and I'm using some paper that I have. Let me show you a couple that I've made. Look how cute these are. These are perfect to put little treats inside. You can also cut out a tiny window if you want to show your treats. And on this one, as you can see, I have some tool. This one is a little graduation one. I use some school paper by Simple Stories. This is a tiny little report card that I cut out from the Cameo along with this bow and a little tiny pearl. I use some American Crafts Baker's Twine on the side. And these are great to add some money to as well. And that's perfect for a graduate to add a little cash to it or a check, whatever you'd like to do. And this one here, it's a double sided paper. I love this tiny polka dot. I put a couple of these daisies on here and a little tag that says it's your day and I use some matching ribbon. So let me just quickly set these aside and show you how I'm going to do this. So I like to use my paper as a guide and this will also fit on six by six paper. If you use a 12 by 12 you can get two of these candy boxes. You want to place your die with the cut side up on your paper and run it through your machine. It cuts out very easily and it also scores it for you as well. I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot. If you get a piece that's stuck, they easily come out, but they do have tiny little release holes there that you can poke something through and it'll help push the paper out. But So here are the dies, and as you can see, it does the score marks for you. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to fold along my score marks and use my bone folder to crease it down. On both of them. And here is where you want to add your adhesive. I'm adding it to both the tabs and this long tab here. Okay, now you want to remove the backing of the tape, the release paper. And you just want to match it up. <clears throat> so I'm using the part with the tab right here to the side that does not have the tab. 
and I'm matching up right along that score line which in turn will give you perfect diamonds right here. Again, I know this might be a little hard to see. It'll give you perfect diamonds. So now you simply want to fold over the side first that has the sticky tape on it and fold over the other side and it will match up for you. And that forms your box. So now you simply want to add ribbon to the sides. Let me grab some ribbon. I'm going to use some Baker's Twine. Pull that tight and make a knot first. If it presses in, you just want to stick your finger in there and press out the paper. Now I'm going to tie a little bow. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Normally you want to fill, your, fill it with your treats now. I'm just using this one as an example. But on the other ones, before I tied off this second tie, I added my treats to it. So now this is what I normally do. I normally use some self-holding um, tweezers. These are tweezer B and hold my knot there while I tie another knot so it doesn't get loose. Pop up that paper. This is such a cute little die. This would make great baby um, for a uh, baby shower, little treats inside. Birthday party favors, whatever you'd like. Shower, a bridal shower. So here is your little box. Super quick to put together. Again, let me show you on this one. These I used heavier weight paper. This was a little light. I would suggest using heavier weight paper. This again is a graduation that holds money. And then this one says it's your day. I have a couple of the little daisies on here. And then this one I just left blank using some tool. This one here, I think I will add something to it. So here I had a little tiny bow that I thought went perfectly with this. The blue matches great. So I will add a little glue on the back of that. And then a little tiny flower in the center. And as you can see, that came together super quick. 
So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. There will be detailed photos at the end. And check out Cut at Home's blog. All the information will be listed along with product codes. Thanks for watching. Thank you.